What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the No FIFA Point Poor Man Road to Glory. I'm on time! Unreal. How crazy is it I'm not sprinting down the stairs spilling coffee all over the place because I've got five seconds to get started before 6 p.m. content. Now, in terms of today's uh, things that we got to do, I'm very excited. We've got the Sud League grinded for, I think, the seventh time. So we've got that to go through today. We've got uh, the Bellerin fully unlocked. As you guys saw, we built the squad yesterday. Worst experience of my life. And the reason is because I'm an idiot. I decided to play all the games yesterday for Bellerin. I don't know why. With uh, Elan Melier, Jack Harrison, uh, Calvin Phillips, uh, Rafinha, like just a bunch of different players. And just everybody yesterday is running the Adama Traores, the Nathan Akes, the Gomez's, uh, subbing on superstars. It was so sweaty to the point where it took me 25 games to get it done but we did get Bellerin done so we have them for our weekend league squad which i'm pretty excited to to build probably come thursday i know we don't have that many good rewards for thursday because uh we played to silver one but it's still an okay amount you never know maybe we get something good in a silver one reward for the first time ever that would be actually great and today in terms of gameplay we're chipping away at and grinding for the championship players and for some reason uh, I'm just trying to use, I know a lot of people are going to sit here and be like, ah, oh, but dude, you could just use seven and then whatever. I'm just trying to have fun with all of these players. And then if I get a goal or whatever, and my opponent pauses to bring on superstar players, then at least I can bring on two defenders and then prime Patrick Vieira, prime icon moments, Patrick Vieira in the midfield. And it helps me shore up the team while we're still using the attackers. And we've done very well so far. I think we've only played five games. Uh, we did it in about 45 minutes to an hour. And the efficiency and the beauty of football I'm playing with this championship team versus my Premier League team from yesterday is night and day. And again, is it because as always, I'm only about five games in? Five or 10 games, Nick is like hashtag Harry or Kurt. A fatter, older version of, of Kurt or hashtag Harry. But in terms of my brain and my football IQ and my FIFA gameplay, it's top notch, at least for my standards. Anything beyond 10 games, and I remind you again, yesterday we played 25 games. Everything beyond 10 games, I lose my head. And it's a, the, the final five or 10 games yesterday, I should have just turned the stream off. It was a nightmare. All my fault. So anyways, today we're doing very well with this squad. We've got the Sud League to grind. We should have some new 6 p.m. content as well from EA. So it should be a fun day, I'm hoping. It's 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 the fun friendlies grind. I'm doing my very best to keep it fun. So far, so good today. Uh, we've beaten a, a good bunch of sweaty Premier League teams, a Premier League team that brought on Mbappe as well. We beat with that championship setup, made him rage quit. So we're doing good. And uh, let's claim this Hector Bellerin, which is another bunch of packs that we get to open here today. And the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the start of Project Team of the Year. Now, I'm not going to put it in the title or anything like that yet because I want just this discussion to be to those of you guys in the comments section that want to leave your, your answers. We talked about it a little bit today with the Twitch stream, but I'll talk about it probably further with the Twitch chat as well is when we're going to start Project Team of the Year. Now, every year for three years straight, we start Project Team of the Year. It might have even been four years. Four years? 2019, 18. I don't think we did it for FIFA 17. So let's just say three years straight, we've started Project Team of the Year December 1st, where we basically keep every good pack from December 1st, grind, 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 all the way till Team of the Year, and have anywhere from 500 to... 1,400 packs is what we had last year for Project Team of the Year on the Poor Man Road to Glory. So we will be doing that again this year. But I was thinking, should we do more? And, and the reason I think that is maybe on the Rich Man account, we start Project Team of the Year today. And if we start Project Team of the Year today, I already have 20 81 plus packs and 5 or 10 uh, gold two rare player packs and i think that would be fun now youtube of course you wouldn't see project team of the year on the rich man account that would be more a live stream thing but i think that could be really fun and then we get to see how how well we do for grinding packs with no money limit on the rich man account and then how we do grinding packs with a no fifa point ethos of the poor man road to glory and see how successful our team of the year is now it is 6 p.m it's a tuesday so i can't imagine we're gonna get anything other than champions league stuff but there should be some champions league things which will add play uh will add packs to the uh the war chest of packs we hope to open today so let's go out and check that out so the sud league i'm one team away we're gonna do that right now uh so that'll get us a few other couple of packs 81 plus packs we're only doing of course as 
we get duplicate untradeables and I have nowhere else to put them. Same thing with the current team of the week packs. And... Oh, they brought it out! Oh my god, four? They brought it out! Oh my, it's gonna be a... Oh my god, it's a rip-off! Let's go! SBC Fada! Let's go! It's finally going up, boys! Oh my lord, things you love to see. It is so expensive, man. For a baby icon pack? Ay ay ay! how long is it out for? How long is it out for? Five days only! Oh, interesting. Wait, is it not repeatable? Oh wait, it's not repeatable! Oh, fodder isn't gonna go up. It's not repeat. it's a one-time thing. It's non-repeatable. Ah, oh, nah, fodder isn't fodder isn't gonna go up, boys. Fodder's not gonna they know what they're doing again. Fodder isn't gonna go up. It's a one-time thing. They want to rinse everybody's account once for four to five hundred K. I mean, that's what it is, right? Team of the week, 86 and 87. That's like 250k right here. That's at least 100. That's 400k between these two. That's at least five. Is this 500k to do? Oh, it's not repeatable. Fodder isn't going to go up much, boys. Who's doing this for five? It might even be 600k. <laughs> Who? Oh, they're so... I, I mean, look, you know exactly why they did this, right? Make it super expensive and make it a one-time thing. The two reasons why. First of all, if it's not repeatable, SBC fodder doesn't really go up. So maybe me and you and anybody else that's got a lot of SBC fodder that isn't brain dead and going to go do this. I'm brain dead, but I'm brain dead on the rich man account, of course. I'll do this on the rich man account. Nevertheless, for people that aren't going to do it, your fodder isn't going to go up. Number one. Number two, though... With a one-time thing, this will bait so many people into doing this over the next five days because it's only once. Ah, it's a one-time thing. I was going to go do an Edwin Vandersar or whatever, or I was going to go do a Zanetti. I'll just put my stuff into this and see how we do. And then everybody gets Inzaghi's and have spent 600k for an untradeable Inzaghi in their club. And that is why. Bro. A 7.5k pack, a one rare Electrum pack that is like a 5k pack, a two rare gold player pack. <laughs> oh my god, it's just, I'm never, I don't know why I'm so surprised. I don't know. I don't know. Why am I so surprised? <laughs> oh my god, and a premium Electrum pack too. Three rares with bronzes and silvers in it, dude. They can't even give you a 25k pack or like a mini 50k pack or a freaking a one rare. They can't even give you a runware pack with golds. They, they gotta put bronzes and silvers in it. <laughs> oh, yikes. Well, the only group of people this benefits is EA Sports and their shareholders. So fair play, EA, once again. Fair play. I'm interested to see if fodder is going to go up, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I don't, I really don't think it's going to dudes. I really don't think it's going to, I, I really can't see myself doing this on this account. I only have five days to craft this. So there's no way there's no way, man. We, we've been doing the Vandersar craft for what? How long has Vandersar been out for? Almost a week now. Right. And I still have one of his teams unfinished. So there's there's no way. I don't even know if I want to get started on this because I don't believe I'll be able to get it finished. Five days is so hard to craft. I have to I have to do the Sud League and Saudi League and stuff like that as we see like five, ten times each, and then hope I pack five or ten or fifteen, like eighty-five to eighty-eight rated players in five days. I don't think I'll be able to craft this, boys. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, all right. Oh, so they didn't do anything with the UCLs. Did they not even bring out UCLs? Huh. Okay. So no no UCLs brought out. Let's go complete the Sud League, as I mentioned. Um, damn, man. Team of the Year might be the last frontier. Look at that, boys. Let's go. Smartly finished as well with the left winger making it cheaper. Um, so we got another mini 50k pack. 
didn't wasn't it a couple of weeks ago where they released the uh the UCL pack like 20 minutes late or an hour late? Five day expiry is fishy. Well, they might bring it out a bit cheaper and then repeatable too after five days. So let the community overpay and rinse their coins on this, and then in five days release a, a, a repeatable base icon, maybe minus the 185 squad, or maybe minus both 85s. And they'll do like in, uh, you know, maybe in 86, 87, 82, or something like that. Thursday was late for marquee matchups. Okay, so they've never been late for the UCL Tuesday marquee matchups, but maybe today is, uh, maybe they're just not doing it, man. I don't know. I'm so glad my fun on this game doesn't depend on what EA release as like a daily SBC. I'm so grateful that we're putting in a heavy grind on the PMRTG and a heavy thought process of trying to have fun and friendlies and stuff like that. Uh, instead of depending on EA to give us fun. So that's a W. Now in terms of, is there objectives too? It's Tuesday. Okay. That might be the UCL stuff for the day then. Win three squad battles on minimum semi-pro with two UCL players. Okay. Score in four separate squad battles or rivals. Score. This is great. Dude, I, we need to work to Elite 3. I know a lot of you guys might not be happy about this. I love that they're giving you the option of playing rivals or squad battles for this. I love this. We get three two-player upgrade packs and a 25k pack for tomorrow's epi. I'm down. I, I Hey, end of the day... We, you got to play four Rivals games. And we, you can even just do it on Semi-Pro or Professional or whatever the case may be. You don't have to do it on Legendary. You can do it on World Class, really. And you just got to play four games. And that'll help us get like halfway towards Elite 3. So I'm down. I'm definitely down with that. Cold War 2 times Weapon XP this weekend as well if you want guns from when Warzone is out. Ooh, that's a good shout. I might have to do that. I like that. Man, I hate myself for being so positive about this, but I do kind of like it, boys. Stadium development, another stadium development, complete 35 matches, away and trophy. Oh, you know what's going over there, boys. You know what's going over there. Um, and then the live foot friendlies. Got a mega pack two locked up for today, so we've won 100 live foot friendlies. Very nice. I won't do it to you guys starting the project team of the year on this account today. Um, but I hope you guys are excited for Project Team of the Year starting the 1st of December onwards. Now, once again, I will open one rare gold player packs of any type. And I will open any pack that has silvers or bronzes in it, okay? So Project Team of the Year, as always, is meant to build up a strong war chest of packs that will benefit us when Team of the Year is in packs. So gold 2 rare player packs, 81 plus packs, mega packs, 25k player packs, mini prime packs, mini 50k packs, 50k packs, rare mega packs, those types of things. But rare electrum packs, as good as those packs are, I need to keep opening packs like that up or prime mixed player packs or prime electrum packs. I know those would be good for team of the year, but I want to open those as we go because it will help continuously me completing league SBCs, which will continuously allow me to save up more mini 50k packs and stuff like that. So I, that should make sense. I, I'll explain project team of the year on the first as, uh, as we get it, but it should make sense. The nice thing is we've unlocked Dak now, so we can put him into the team too. That's fantastic. I'm actually down with that. Very, very nice. Hmm. Man's four star, four star as well. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we'll take IU out and use him instead of IU. All right, and then we're five out of ten for wins, and uh, five out of fifteen for games played, which is fine. the The final five games, I'll just go in there and give my opponents wins. I'll, I'll just put the controller down. I need to complete the game anyway, so I'll just go in, put the controller down. And then let them, uh, you know, score their five trillion goals because the community is a bunch of psychos. And instead of just happily taking a win, they'll waste 35 minutes of their time. Okay. I um, wanted to see if I claim this reward, does it auto claim the one below it? Or do you have to do one by one? What a terrible ball, by the way. No, you got to do one by one. Okay. Cool. Love that. One rare player pack. So that's another example. Because it's only a one rare gold, sure, during Project Team of the Year, during Team of the Year, this one rare gold pack might have a Team of the Year in it. 
But the likelihood is so low that I would rather open this because it fills up my club again with 11 non-rares and one rare gold that we can once again use towards putting into other SBCs that will have better packs, right? Marquee matchups weekly that should have 25k packs and prime packs and so on and so on and so on. Now, in terms of the grind, uh, bronzes are still selling, but relatively inconsistently right now. But that's okay. That's all right. So do we sell fodder boys like is fodder up in any capacity is fodder up to any capacity maybe tomorrow or 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 thursday might be a good time to do it is fodder actually up yeah i feel like a lot of the timmies are filling up the market right now but maybe like later this evening we sell off our fodder all the teamies are undercutting each other right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree with that thought process. I'll ask around the FUT market, FUT spy and stuff like that. They know better than me. So I'll, I'll see when they think we should be selling fodder. Um, They're much... Okay. Yeah, I, I, I feel like selling in the evening is the move. Selling in the evening once once the Timmies have all uh, screwed themselves over and undercut them each other. So these guys, all SBC fodder uh, purchases for dirt cheap, like 18, 18 to 20k. These guys bought for next to nothing. Um, I'll probably keep him though. And then, well, 88s might not be necessarily needed, but I still think I bought all of these guys for like, you know, the discard prices, right? So... I don't know where they're at right now in terms of 88s, but anywhere from 25 to 28k bought all of these guys for. And then the 87s, I believe we bought them for pretty chill prices too, right? Yeah, like 20, anywhere from 19 to like 22, maybe 22.5. So we've done pretty good on these guys. And then uh, the 86s, I didn't go to... For some reason, I, I remember doing this, and this is a good time to talk about it. For some reason, when I was doing a club stock a, a couple of weeks ago, 86s were nuts overpriced. So I just didn't buy them. Now, I might regret that now, but I didn't buy them. 85s, of course, I, I, I did pick up because they weren't uh, all, all that expensive. Like 6K for 85s is pretty chill. When team of the year comes out, like mid-January usually, like like the 5th to the 10th, somewhere around there. So all of these guys, same thing, bought anywhere from 5 to like 6.57k. And then 84s were bought for dirt cheap as well. Um, you know, anywhere from 2.5 to like 3.5k. Although, once again, I don't know if 84s and 83s have really gone up. The price of the base Icon SB was somewhat the same last year. Was it? Oh, wow. I really don't re I remember it being repeatable and not that expensive so but we're we're looking good boys I mean the club stock as you do every year is kind of has paid out not as much as you would hope but should make bags on Tiago Silva yeah on the rich man account we, we did the run the inform Tiago Silva we've got like 30 or 40 of him on that account we've had for ages because he was just so cheap all fodder is up but but not much Last year was 83, 86, 86, 87. Oh. Oh, interesting. 85, 88 last year. I think that was the second time it came out. Wasn't it? Or that was the mid. Bro, I'll say this right now though. I will probably go pretty ham on, on crafting a mid icon um, SBC packs on the poor man. Bro, the chance of that hullet. I'll also be doing a lot of them on the uh, on the rich man. Am I doing it? Oh, I, no, Chani, no. I, I, I won't. The, I, the, uh, I need to try and stay as liquid as possible on the poor man, on the no FIFA point account. And I did a club stock just to sell off everything. So I'd rather take the money and uh, I will craft. I just, there's not enough time to craft that icon SBC by grinding S league SBCs, bronze pack method, silver upgrade method. Five days to craft a base icon pack. There's just no way I can do it. If it was for 30 days, then yeah, I'd probably make one or two, maybe. Maybe one or two, but maybe three. But in five days, there's absolutely zero chance I'd be able to craft it. We all know how terrible the pack luck is. So anyways, 
Let's get back into uh, ripping these packs. So we've got yet another. I, you guys can keep track. I believe this is our seventh run at the Sudamerica. Sudamericana um, grind. So let's see how we do. Look at the Futbin start page and you'll see what type of uh, icon you're going to get. Yep. Go cheapest. Cheapest to most expensive. And the first five is probably the first players. The, the, the same players that 99% of the community is going to pack. It was fun last year. You doing them last year? Dude, we ended up opening almost 300 icon packs. Baby icon, mid icon, and prime icon packs. And I packed nothing last year. Nothing at all. Oh my lord. Okay, oh my then. God. Dear God. Thank you so much, my love. Try by right With coffee? Thai food and coffee? All right. Yeah. I, that is good. Mm. Oh my God. That's actually amazing. Oh God. It's spiciness. It's delicious. Thank you, baby. Uh, okay, so. Keep that. Um, mainly, so Saudi, obviously, we keep. All of these guys, I'm tempted to just store no matter what. So we have a big war chest of sellable uh, silvers for uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Bros, Black Friday it might end up being like a 20-hour stream. Might. Bellhurst Park. Ooh, that's kind of a nice-looking kit. Just kidding. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of all that. And then this guy, though, we got to sell. 500k for a Litmanen. Dude, why are you guys doing these? Why are, why are you guys... I mean, you can't be mad if you know the pack is overpriced and you know the likelihood of getting someone good is next to zero. Come on, boys. They're addicting. Will you be opening ours? Hell no. I don't believe you should be doing them. So why the fuck would I sit there and go and open my community's uh, base icon packs when I think they're a goddamn ripoff? Absolutely not. I will not be doing that. I hope to inspire you guys not to yeet five to six hundred k into a baby icon pack. I'd rather you have those coins liquid and be able to go buy whatever icon you wanna wanna test for five six hundred k. Um, uh, okay, so let's go with that. Keep that. Rich man tonight? Yep. I mean, we could do it on the rich man. And we might do it on the rich man. Which is kind of contradictory. But then again, the rich man is a moronic account anyways, right? It, it is the opposite of anything any sane person should be doing. So, yeah. I mean, the rich man account, we could do it, right? It visits the freaking godforsaken satanic uh, promo section as well regularly. Does this sell? This is Gorilla's badge, isn't it? Damn, they, Gorilla's got a pretty big pull on the community, huh? Or that maybe that was his badge last year. I don't know if it's actually the, it, it again this year. All right. Are base icon prices dropping from people panic selling? Oh, potentially, yeah. Might be a time to pick up one or two baby icons, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got Eusebio last year. Hey, man, then go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I don't think they're worth doing. But if you want to just have some fun, then then fair play. Fair play. I do feel like, sorry for eating, I'm just starving, so I'm going to be eating in front of you guys, but I feel like EA almost preys on people's addictions, in a sense, with these SBCs, man. They're so overpriced, but EA knows people want a chance at a baby Eusebio or a baby Cruyff or, you know, a baby Pele, or, and, and they just do it. You know, people have spent three, four weeks grinding this game to oblivion bronze pack method you know uh squad battles gameplay uh objectives grinding 
division rivals sweat weekend league sweat four weeks of just incessant grinding and uh and, and then people rinse it all away into one pack and get an inzagi you know so but it, there's a rhyme or reason to all of that of course there is they know what they're doing right they want people to kind of go broke in terms of club assets on that stuff for when cyber or Black Friday and Cyber Monday comes around, you're more and more likely to rip packs if you've got nothing in your club. Makes sense, right? I don't mean that in like a, a, a an offensive way either. I, I just mean that in an honest way. What were the requirements last year? People are saying the requirements were, were just the same. Um, I think I'm going to keep all of this, boys. Even baby Hullet isn't worth it? No, he's not. It's, I mean, we call him Walmart Hullet for a reason. He's absolutely not worth it. Dude, eh, regular Sissoko is better than baby Hullet. That tells you something. Regular Renato Sanchez is better than baby Hullet. I stay super frugal and play and trade with untradeables until team of the year. It's not a bad idea. I think what a lot of people will criticize me for saying is because I think like that too, but a lot of people will tell me, dude, what? Nobody, you're not even going to play this game beyond team of the year. So why not have a bit of fun? And I, I, I do very much agree with that sentiment. So if you are of that mindset, then go ahead and do the base icon SPC. I just give you guys the, the, the thought processes, uh, positive or negative about uh, what comes out in this game. However, if you want to just have some fun, then by all means, go, go do these SPCs, go, go do whatever, well, really go do whatever the hell you want to do. Don't listen to me. I just personally think that having five to 600 K's worth of assets will help you out down the road towards maybe getting yourself one of the icons that actually attract you. So, okay, maybe Vanderstars and Eddie aren't, aren't the ones for you, but there will be some pretty decent icon SPCs coming out. You know, there will. And they'll always magically come out as these icon packs expire too, right? Once you've rinsed everything, then they'll come out with a uh, a mid uh, Clarence Sadorf icon SBC that costs 800k or 700k. And you're like, bro, I just put 600k into a baby icon SBC and got Inzaghi. I wish I saved it for, uh, you know, crafting a Clarence. So I just think that's more worth your time. But it's not as fun. It's not as fun as hoping you pack a, a baby Eusebio. And I, I truly do hope you guys do actually pack those guys, right? I'm not, I'm not saying I don't want you to do it and I hope you don't get anything good. Like, I hope if you're, if you're willing to risk your club assets that hard for something untradeable and so useless, I really do hope it pays off for you. I do. I want mid Sadorf so bad, he's insane. It, he was so disappointing last year, man. I, I was so excited to try him out last year, and he was such a disappointment. So I, I, I am hoping as well that he's awesome this year. Uh, you could just wait for icon swaps to get a free icon or do the icon pack. That too. But again, right? People will argue. Nice UCL player. People will argue, well, I want to have fun now, right? I'm only playing this game now. I'm only enjoying this game now. I, I don't want to wait for four months for an Icon SBC where I probably won't even be playing FIFA 21. And that is a very fair argument. It is very much a fair argument. And, and I do, to some extent, agree with that stuff. Which is why I want to go ham building up an awesome war chest of packs for Team of the Year. Because personally, for me, Team of the Year for the last four or five years has been the absolute peak of my love and enjoyment for FIFA. And everything beyond that just starts falling off. The meta gets worse and worse. The servers get worse and worse. The gameplay gets worse and worse. My enjoyment levels of the game get worse and worse because I grind like crazy until team of the year. Go real hard for a week or week and a half for team of the year. And then after that, I have like pretty much everything I could ever want on either of my accounts, whether it's a no FIFA point poor man or even on the rich man. So things like the enjoyment levels start falling off. I don't do squad battles anymore beyond team of the year. Uh, I barely touch division rivals beyond team of the year other than doing objectives. Uh, I barely play champs beyond gold three ever, but definitely don't play beyond gold three from team of the year onwards. So I just, I try to maximize my enjoyment for team, for, uh, for when team of the year comes around. 
So if you guys are thinking that, I mean, maybe you do it as well, right? Maybe maybe you do go do the baby icon SBC. Maybe try and craft it over the next six days. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to do it. Palacios. Leeds legend. I just got Hullet. I guess it's a dub though, but he's a bit shit. See, that's the thing, Lonnie. I mean, I don't even know if that... Uh, that Hullet will be good for you for a couple weeks. Uh, maybe even a couple months. I don't think there's that many god-tier meta players that... that are yet better than Hullet. Again, base Sissoko, base Renato, inform Renato, road to the final Renato, road to the final Sissoko. There are players that are better, but they're, you know, they're, they're few and far between. So I think you'll still be able to enjoy a baby Hullet for a little bit. All right, this is one of the packs we got a, uh, a Sissoko in. I got, a, I got a bit of a love for this pack. Just completed Flashback Kadira. Anyone done him? Uh, I think Zwei went elite with Flashback Kadira and loved him. I think that's probably a pretty good indication of whether or not he's good. Um, now, is this an 81 plus pack, boys? Where, where would I ever remember? No man left behind, but also, I don't really have anywhere to put that, do I? Let me see. Vandersar, we're one away from completing him, but I mean, obviously, that's not a good enough duplicate. Libertadores, I can't do anything with him there. Sudgrind, can't do anything with. Even the weak upgrade, can't do anything with. Can't do anything with. Can't do anything with. So it is, it's 81 plus. All right. Here you go. There it is. All right, and he was the one that we got to get rid of. All right, we got an 81 plus pack. Here we go. Wait, I got rid of Palacios. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You know what, man? Whatever. Whatever, man. Sometimes I'm a dumb stupid. There's nothing I can do. How did I not see him? Kind of nuts. Oh, well, he's like 800 coins, so it's not a big deal. Hey, Nep tweeting the same thing I just talked about on the video. Nep's not going to go live to do uh, open your guys' icon packs because he thinks they're bad value as well. There you go. When me and dad think on the same wavelength. Feel me? Yeah, but Nep's done the icon pack. If Nep does the icon pack on his road to glory, first of all, that's his prerogative. Content, you got to understand for content. Second of all, he's running a first owner road to glory. If I was running a first owner road to glory, not only would I be doing this base icon pack, but I would have crafted um, Vandersar, Zanetti, and Figo. So you, you can't hate on someone for doing something like that when they're running a first owner account. It makes sense. It totally makes sense. I watch you and others play and it makes me want to play. I then get online and the fun quickly goes away. It, it, uh, again, is that a walkout? Oh, no. Uh, it, it's it's up to us to enjoy it, man. No hate, not hating on him. Um, No, I, I, I'm aware. Oh! Could we, oh, my. Oh, my God. The dupes. All right. Uh, We could do... An 81, a gold two player, and a uh, gold three player, I suppose. Why not? Uh, SBC-wise, the content's been the worst it's ever been. It's not been the worst it's ever been. It's been the most predatory. It's been the most bad value it's ever been. It's been more focused on rinsing the community their, uh, of their money and of their coins than of giving the community good stuff. Now, again, some people would argue, well, that's EA's prerogative. They should be allowed to do that, etc. And you know what? You might be right. 
it definitely is uh, EA's prerogative to, to, to make money off of their viewer base. <clears throat> uh, Dutch in Greece, though, could be useful. I'm going to keep that guy for SBC. There you go. I probably could have just done it just by moving the center back over. Well, to also confirm that glitch is on uh, next-gen consoles, too, where the cards turn into insanely bright purple and burn your retinas to a crisp. Okay, here we go. No man left behind. The grind continues, boys. Come on, give me a UCL player, please. UCL. Because even though I think the UCL is a ripoff, I'm still slowly but surely crafting it just via dupes. Untradeable dupes. Or untradeable UCL cards in general. The, 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 that one's a bit harder to do. I can't speak. The, 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 the. That one is a little bit harder to do. And the reason why is because inevitably I use the UCLs for the UCL marquee matchup. So I'm always depleting my club of untradeable UCL players. So that actual UCL League SBC might never get finished for me. Unless I overpay. Varane is 250k. Again, is that lower or higher? I'm seeing tons of people talking about it. But I don't know if that's actually... It's a really shite pack, isn't it? No! Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> Alright, we've got a, another uh, two rare player pack and another gold three player upgrade pack. He's lower? Okay. Varan was 350k last week. So me kind of being like SBC fodder rich... Uh, is probably a good play then. Currently. It's a W. It's a bit of a W. There it is. My God, that took a lot of effort, dude. <laughs> Funny that teams are spending 550k on the card they could buy for 220k. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm seeing a lot of people's uh, theories, or not theories, but justifications of rinsing five to six hundred k's worth of assets into a base icon is well if i get nothing good at least i now have a base icon to put into other icon sbcs you're spending three times the price for a fodder icon and that's good for you <coughs> and they brought out the uefa marquee matchup so they were just straight up late wait is it actually out right now did they seriously bring it out dude what <laughs> uh okay um, ba -ba 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 -ba. sick packs as well. Really? Okay, I think that's in live, right? Are you trolling me? Oh, damn, they did too. 25k player pack. 25k. Woo, they are good packs. You need what? So you need one UEFA player there, none there. 75 and 77. Liverpool or Atalanta, 2. PSG or Leipzig, 1. Players from one club, minimum 2. Okay, so we'll throw duplicates into this now. Now we've got yet another uh, No Man Left Behind grind. That's a W, man. I, yeah, well, EA make no sense, but basically what they did is they just... They forgot. And they just released it 45 minutes late. Alright. Or 50 minutes later, whatever it is. Hey, it gives us more packs to craft. I'm down. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. For a Tuesday? That's what's up, dude. And we got a lot of two rare player packs crafted. 281 plus packs crafted as well from the No Man Left Behind. So here we go. See how we do. Trying to eat as well at the same time. No walkout. No boards. Marquee matchups are out, Nick. Thanks for letting me know, dude. I appreciate when you guys look out. Have I thought about using three at the back of this FIFA? I'm enjoy I'm enjoying four, four, two, and four, two, three, one right now. Boards. Is that an inform? Wait, what? Oh my god, no! Another. That's my third duplicate untradeable Dumfries of the week. 
Look at the purple uh, field now, too. I love it. Did fodder go crazy? Not really. Uh, Timmy's are busy undercutting each other right now. Okay, I got it. We really got to think this one through, boys. Do we go do Vandersar now? I mean, being that it's an 82, it's not really that great. What what can I even do with Dumfries? I don't want to just discard him because it's it's again the uh the issue where I'll just forget. How do you get the high rated from the soot and the silver from the lib? You go to the transfer market and buy them. Or you pack them from the silver upgrade packs, my man. There's no secrets here. It's it's very much a uh Is this guy even tradable? Damn it, dude. Another gold three player. Okay, so we got another gold three player upgrade pack. That's fine. Stocking up the club. I'm not I'm not upset about it. But what on earth am I doing? How many days do I have left on the Sammy Kadira? A day and 23 hours. I don't know about that one, boys. I don't know about that one, boys. Eighty five rated team of the week? No. <sighs> Vandersar is the eighty six rated squad, right? Do need a team of the week though. But then if I throw an eighty two, it means I gotta use like a couple eighty sevens, and I really don't want to do that right now. I mean, I guess we could do... Who knows, man? I mean, considering how efficiently we've crafted a Vandersar, I'm not opposed to crafting Zanetti either. Like, he's kind of kind of dope. I, I mean, he helped us go 14-1 and this weekend on the Rich Man. We can put it into that. The Mixed Player Pack. We can also do this one, too. Small Silver Pack. Uh, you know what? I'll save that one for when we get a Duplicate Bronze, though. Duplicate Untradable Bronze. Special is look at that Hector. Team overall chemistry seventy five. Well, let's go see what type of uh, untradable air divisie batches we have. That'll be the first start. I, I don't have any. Dear Lord. I'd really like to not use rares as much as possible, too. That makes sense. Like, I'd, I'd rather use non-rares from a main league. Should we even do this in Eddie, boys? What are we saying? Should this even be done? I don't know, man. Crafting him or otherwise, it's kind of an eh, isn't it? Like, genuinely? In my head, I'm thinking we just put this guy into a... Uh, like, and just throw it into the marquee matchup. Why not? I mean, he technically doesn't have a value anyways. I do understand that this is uh, only an 80 rated squad. Hmm. I have to rethink this in anything. I think I kind of agree with a lot of what you guys are saying too. It's almost, it's almost a waste, isn't it? Whereas, if we at least go over to... Where the hell is it? Where's the marquee matchup stuff? This one. Like this one. We can go here. Uh, I need a, a UEFA player as well. Perfect. That's great. All right, SBC Brainchild. Now, 
Maybe it'd be better to be putting an informed dump, dump freeze somewhere else, but I, I actually think that's decent. I'm not upset with that move. All right, rare mix player pack as well. Not a bad pack. Isn't the team of the week? Oh, for God's sakes. Forgot about this guy. No man left behind. Mm -mm. Don't roll your eyes. I can see you through the screen rolling your eyes. Don't roll your eyes. The reason why we have a road to the final Renato Sanchez pack pulled and a road to the final Sissoko is because of the no man left behind. So. Uh... Turkey should we get rid of? And I feel like I'll rinse the MLS players out of my club. And then uh, they'll be needed. That always is the case. Anytime I finally break it, I'm like, alright, I'm just going to get rid of all the Pro League players. Or all the Turkish players. Within days, that SBC comes out. Every single time without fail. Oops. Yeah, I mean, while I have other leagues to get rid of, Swiss League, J League, Danish League, although he is, you know, Brazilian, might be worthwhile keeping that guy, actually. But... And... Done! They're rolled, Nick? I don't even know what that means. Is that like someone when someone said my style was raw? And I was like, wait, what? The hell are you even talking about? Does they're rolled? Is that another term of being super dope? Super fantabulous? Like super gnarly? Oh, his eyes are rolled. See, I forgot I even had said that. I have the memory of a goldfish. So I forgot I even had said that. There you go. <laughs> I think we've added like 20 more rare, uh, sorry, non-rare golds into the club. That just helps us do other SBCs. Okay, here we go. Uh, rare mixed, I believe it's tradable too. There's always a W. Nothing good. But I'll take that. That should be at least 2k. Timmy's are dumb. So more like 3k. Timmy's be Timmying. This dude. Originally not worth much until the MLS comes out. Late to the stream, are you doing the icon? I would have tried to craft it, but five days is impossible. And the price of it is so extortionate that I'm just not going to do it. I would have happily tried to craft it if it was out. If it's a one-time thing, it should be out just for 30 days or something. Let us craft it over time. But five days at a five to 600k value? Hell no, dude. Hell no. They are out of their goddamn mind. No, God, please. Well, actually, I don't know if that's a negative. More 81 plus packs? Who's going to be upset about that? Sometimes I get a little bit bored out of my nuts doing these upgrades, but when it when it comes to... um, Wait, what? When it comes to doing more 81 pluses, I'm down. Hey, Nick, did you say they release you for marquee matchups? No, thank you, man. I appreciate it, brother. There we go. Nice who. Not sure if this is for sure, but the base icon SBC was cheaper last year. I don't know. I, I It might have been a bit cheaper. Uh, what I remember is it was a longer window and I believe it was repeatable. <clears throat> I think that's kind of what EA decided against was the whole repeatable thing and it not being completely extortionate. 
Now, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe maybe it was as expensive. Few people have told me that there it was an 83, 86, 86, 87. Walkout! No man left behind. Inform walkout, I think. Oh, it's dead. Although, SBC fodder, boys. No man left behind. Just earned us one next player we needed for Edwin van der Sar. Let's go, baby. I know a lot of people wouldn't care about that, but on the poor man road to glory where we're crafting Edwin van der Sar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. Finally a gold two-player pack paying out. It's been it's been feels like it's been weeks. Ah uh, back to back walkouts! What the hell? Cooley Bolly! Oh my god, imagine when he was a road to the final! Holy lord! There you go. Another player we can put into a Vandersar. No rush, though. I don't need to. Mm -mm -mm. Imagine it was an informed Mane. Mm, my viewer base would have lost their mind. My viewer base would have lost their damn mind. Back to back to back? No. Nope. Unfortunately. Base icon last year was 450 to 530k. Red list. I mean, it feels like this account is very red listed. All right. So uh, three no man left behind crafted 81 pluses. Mega pack from the 100 foot friendlies. And this is the final uh, Sud League pack. So let's open the final Sud League pack. So far, uh, the Sud grind for the seventh Sud grind is not really paid out. And yeah, it absolutely is not paid out. That's horrifying. And that's why crafting this base icon pack in five days is near impossible. Like I just did the entire Sud. Oh, damn. Adama Traore is not bad though. As a sweaty super sub, like every other donkey does in FIFA. That's not bad. Um... Oh my god, I got a no man left behind another UCL team, for god's sakes. Okay. Oh no! No, we can go do the marquee matchup. Perfect. Yeah, but, as a perfect example, this seventh run, every- the last two or three runs of the Sud League, we've packed at least one 86 to 88 rated player. I think last time was a Hummels, the time before was Hazard, the time before that was... Modric or something like that. So we've kind of been able to be like, okay, well, they don't give you a, a high-rated player at the end, but we've packed one through the grind. This seventh grind, I've got nothing, nothing. And that's why it's so much harder to craft these icons and stuff, right? And why I'm going to find it impossible to craft that baby icon pack in five days. Because I could do another four Sud, Sud SBCs today, even for profit, and not even hit an uh, 85 or higher rated player so it's but ea did that on purpose that they they know what they're doing they i mean uh, out of the seven uh, sud sbcs if it was last year i'd have eight i'd sorry i'd have seven 88 rated players ready for Vandersar, and i'd probably within two or three days be able to craft that base icon pack if the sud league had 88 rated players and league uh, had 88 rated players and you know so so on and so on and so forth and so forth and awning and so forth thing um but, you know, they, they've done it different. So we just got to grind differently and just hope our luck is in, as opposed to just consistently being able to have high-rated players. Okay, so... Wait, I don't even need a UCL for this one? Keep chemistry 75. Okay, not far off. Not far off, and this should do it. There it is. Hey! All that from silver, from bronze packs and silver upgrades? I'm down. Get myself a rare gold and a... Premium and a 25k pack. So there, there, there's even more benefit to the BPM and silver upgrade, right? You use one no man left behind player and the rest being players that you got from the uh, bronze pack method and silver upgrade grind. So this pack spam is just endless, isn't it? Um, okay, let's do the mega pack here. So this is from the 100 live friendly. So it will be untradeable, which most likely means we'll have some duplicates that we'll have to deal with. No walkout. 
boards though, but Mega Packs as always are god awful. Zlatan! Haha! <laughs> Uncanny! How long is Zlatan even gonna be in FIFA, man? With the stink he put up yesterday. What I will say, as much as I was laughing at Ibra yelling at EA and stuff for saying he he they're using his image unfairly. Bro, like Ibra was taken was having pictures taken of him with his foot card from FIFA 17 player of the month. Like, there's no way he didn't know. He was in the game when he was happily taking pictures at Man United when he got player of the month and stuff like that, right? So, very similar. Gareth Bale doing that tweet. Gareth Bale was the cover star in FIFA 14 and tweeted about it. And then Gareth Bale also claiming he didn't know, he doesn't know what FIFA Pro is. He has every year a picture of him voting for team of the year and his card FIFA Pro vote and stuff like that. Like, it's a little bit crap. As much as I love Ibra, I don't really care about Gareth Bale. As much as I love Ibra... To some extent, I understand they want their image rights to be covered, but it just feels like they were fine with it before, but then found out how much money David Beckham... Do you understand how much money EA have paid David Beckham for his image rights for this year alone? And you guys you guys lambast me, endless, lambast me endlessly when I say EA should be putting tens of millions into servers to make the game better for everybody that earns the money, right? Their user base that spends money on FIFA points or plays the game or buys the game. And you guys say, why would they ever spend the 10, 20, 30 mil? That's a lot of money. They're paying David Beckham 30 mil, man, for this year. The guy's making like 400,000 pounds a week for featuring on FIFA 21. Ridiculous. So I understand that maybe for existing players, that's a bit crappy when you see someone like David Beckham being paid that much and you might not be getting anything because EA have a deal with, with AC Milan or EA have a deal with Spurs, or EA had a deal with Real Madrid for Gareth Bale, etc. Maybe that sucks, but it's like, them sitting there and trying to pretend like they didn't know that their rights were being used? I love Ibra, man. He's one of my favorite players of all time. But, that's a bit of a yikes. 256k a week, actually? Oh, my bad, my bad. It's Guys, it's only 256,000 pounds a week. Sorry, I, it was false advertising. Um, I apologize for lying to you guys. My bad. It's only 10 mil a year. Yeah, see? My bad, man. My bad. That's my fault, dudes. My fault, my fault, my fault. <laughs> All right. We get another gold two rare player pack, man. The no man left behind system keeps us open in packs for two hours a day. Which I am not upset about, by the way. I like it. I'm a fan. All right. I'm not sure. Just did Kadir debating on switching him out for Raja Nainggolan, who's pairing up with Keen. Who would be better to pair with mid Keen? Uh, Raja Nainggolan, for sure. I mean, Kadir looks all right, but I, I don't know. For me, I, I would go Raja. Raja's such a beast this year, man. Every year, actually. Yeah, maybe we get, uh, I mean, Ryan Kent is being touted as getting, or, or hopefully getting a inform this week. So maybe they may use him as a silver star. Inform silver 74 Ryan Kent that you, you work to unlock or grind to unlock. That'd be fantastic. Boards again. Let's go two player packs. Oh, Strakosha. You think of stocking up all non-rares for flash SBCs? Um, yeah, I might. I might. That's actually a pretty, pretty good, pretty good idea. Um, nice little bit of money on Sarkozy. I'm tempted, man. All these players we bought for next to nothing. Maybe I should just sell at the profit I'm at already. All right, three eighty-one plus packs end off the day. Obviously, if it's duplicate, we'll we'll go craft it again. First one, no walkout, no board, no goddamn surprise. Two eighty ones, of course. Of course. Well, we get to go do another one, I guess. Oh my god, is this going to be an infinite feedback loop of just endless 81 pluses here today? Might be. No man left behind. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be here for a while. I love my purple field. Let's go. There we go. Are you going to do the uh, icon pack on the rich man? Yeah, on the rich man we will because who cares, right? On the rich man we'll do it for a bit of uh, a bit of fun. Maybe I'll show you guys that pack uh, tomorrow. We'll uh we'll we'll do the pack today on stream and then I'll show YouTube how the rich man pack luck turned out for the baby icon pack. I don't know if you guys care or not, but you know, 
I didn't, people don't seem to mind us like throwing in a little bit of the rich man experience onto the poor man. It gives you the other side of the view. The dumbass, no money, who care, like no money worries, no care about coin losses or gains or whatever, right? Account. This account is the, uh, as always, the opposite, but I feel like people seem to enjoy seeing the other side of it. Nep got a sick baby icon for himself. That's great. I hope so. Baby Deli P from a pack. That's a dub. It was on his rich man. Well, there you go. Sem D. False advertising as always. Nakata's popular. Candy. Why? Are, how are these 81 pluses so much worse than the regular gold two player upgrade packs? No walkout. Okay, finally boards. And it's dead. <clears throat> I got Eusebio from the baby pack. Nice, man. That's awesome. Are you going to put him into like another icon SBC maybe? Be a good idea. Ooh, Zebi, ooh. Final 81 plus pack. Come on. Give us a walkout. We did four or five of these today. They were not good. No walkout. No board. My lord. Are you guys really sitting here ripping these? These seem so terrible in comparison to the gold two players. Anyways, 25k pack from the, uh, or just a rare from the UCL. SBC, they threw up 45 minutes late. Boards. That's dead. I did one and called it a day. I don't think you could do more than one anyways, brother. They're not repeatable. Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, no. On a walkout, you can't even think for a second it's Ronaldo. Matt did 50 81 plus packs and get anything. Yeah, that's nuts. And then meanwhile, I opened two gold two player packs uh, from the no man left behind grind and we hit a walkout in form uh goalkeeper and then a, another walkout that i actually can't remember who the hell it was who was the walkout who was the other walkout holy god i have the worst memory honestly who was the other walkout koulibaly yeah it was koulibaly summer in form and koulibaly so again if your luck is in your luck is in i guess it just absolutely does not matter what the hell pack you open all righty Final pack of the epi. Thank you guys for chilling. Another hour and a half or so of grinding. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am. I really, really am. Updating you guys on the club and updating you guys on the, the SBC grind. Hero! It's not a walkout, so it can't be. Oh my god, for the 37th time. I think the only good news about this is he discards for like 15k or something like that. So... Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying are enjoying our grind. Tomorrow, we'll be back doing the same thing. We'll probably do another uh, Sud SBC grind. We'll hopefully have the championship players unlocked. And what, what else will be the plan for tomorrow? And I guess whatever EA, EA brings out for 6 p.m. content. Maybe we get an inform Ryan Kent. So we'll have a quick look here. I can't imagine there's going to be anything else. Maybe an 85 or lower rated player as a secondary. There isn't, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!